Hi, I'm Eunice, and I'm currently a third year doing psychology at Durham University. So today I'm going to share with you what it's like to do my degree. So first I'm going to give an introduction to the course, um, just a basic outline of how it's like, and then we asked you to ask me some questions on our Instagram, at the Durham student, and I'm going to answer those. So let's get into it. So first of all, why did I want to study psychology in the first place? This feels like I'm repeating what I said in my personal statement, but I'm very passionate about mental health, and I thought psychology was mostly about that. I was, I guess, right and wrong. The psychology course at Durham actually covers basically all aspects of psychology. We have the biological side, um, the developmental side, and the differential side, which is um, personalities and ind individual differences and of course clinical which is more related to mental health so you'll get to touch on all of these different aspects of psychology during your time during your degree and you'll get a better idea of what you're actually interested in because you get such a wide range of topics in terms of the module outline in first year we had four compulsory modules so we had classic papers introduction to psychological research which a which is a statistics module and Introduction to Psychology 1 and Introduction to Psychology 2. And then we had one optional module. Well, basically we had 20 credits left and we could choose any module from any department for that. So for second year, all the modules were compulsory. So we all took these modules as a cohort. These included advanced research methods and statistics, contemporary and conceptual issues in psychology, differential and clinical psychology, social and developmental psychology, and cognitive and biological psychology. So you see that there's not a lot of creativity with naming the modules, but it gives a really clear picture of how you'll really get a taste of each branch of psychology, if that makes sense. So in third year, we only had one compulsory module, which is the dissertation one. Um, I was definitely overwhelmed with the amount of choices we had for the remaining modules, but this also gives you the chance to finally tailor your degree to your own interests. In terms of assessments, I would say psychology is actually a lot less stressful than other degrees. Um, in our first year, a lot of our exams were MCQ based, which sounds crazy, I know, and it was open book as well. But of course, we also had a lot of essays, but they were all always evenly spaced out. You'll, you'll never have a situation where you have to submit f six summatives within, this, within the same week. So as long as you have good time management, then you'll be able to manage the workload in psychology. There's also um, presentations that you'll have to do and also some statistics work. So for the dissertation, it's a 7,000 word empirical research report. So you'll start working on it by the end of your second year and into uh, the second term of your third year. So I actually just submitted my dissertation. And again, as long as you have good time man management and you actually communicate with your supervisor, then it's a completely manageable task. So apart from the dissertation, the psychology department at Durham actually provides quite a lot of opportunities for you to get involved in research as well. So first of all, we have this system called SONA, which is where you can sign up to be a participant for other people's studies. And basically, when you participate, you'll earn credits, which you can use in your third year for your dissertation when you want to recruit participants. And some people find it annoying, but I found it quite fun to see what other people were working on. And also, you can always ask the researchers questions about what equipment they're using. It's just a great experience, great hands-on experience, either as a participant or a researcher. The psychology department has a research assistance scheme, so you can take a look at what professors are recruiting research assistants for their projects, you can apply and become one. So I did that in my second year and I was involved in research about solitude and that was definitely very interesting as well to actually be a part of the research. So is studying at university any different 
from studying at school. So first of all, I did not do A levels, so I didn't do psychology when I was in school, so I can't compare. But I can say that um, your experience at university is very much self-directed. So you decide how you want to design your university life. Of course, you will decide how much time you actually want to put in. I guess societies or clubs or sports teams, and your degree, of course. And there's no right or wrong. It really depends on what suits your style the most. Okay, so now I'm going to answer the questions that you sent me on Instagram. So the first one is, does it ever get better? I'm in second year and I'm still waiting to enjoy my degree. I'm so sorry to hear that, uh, but I think that's po probably a common problem among a lot of university students across any degree. So you're definitely not alone. I, I'm not sure what you mean by better in terms of uh, which way, but uh, it can feel very restrictive in second year of this psychology degree in Durham because you don't get to pick your modules. I will say it gets better in that sense in third year because as I said you really get to choose what you're actually interested in and hopefully that motivates you to love what you're learning. At this point it might be good to think about which part of the degree that you're not satisfied with. Is it the content? Is it the way it's taught? Is it the professors or is it the wider university experience in general? And depending on which of these is your answer, um, I would say start from that. See how you can change that. If you're still finding it hard to like psychology, I would say that's okay as well because there there's so much you can do with a psychology degree. It should be easy to cross over from a psychology bachelor's to a master's in other areas. So next question is, are there any math prerequisites that would be good for psych majors? There are no prerequisites for math. I didn't do any extra math when I was in school and I'm doing fine, but I guess it would be helpful because there is a lot of statistics involved. However, they will teach you how to do it. They will equip you with the knowledge. So it's not necessary to do extra math beforehand. Next question is, what does the course breakdown over the, th over the three years look like? So I already touched on that earlier on, the uh, earlier on in the video. So if you just go back to that timestamp, you will figure that out. Um, but also I would recommend checking out the university's website because it's going to be different for every year. So that would give you the latest information. Next question is, what is the best college for psych undergrad students? So that's a really good question because it actually shows a misconception about colleges at Durham. So they don't allocate you based on your subject. Oh, well, they actually try their best to make sure there's a variety of different subjects in each college. So they're not going to pull everyone from the same course into the same college, if that makes sense. Because they, they want you to meet people from different backgrounds, obviously. So there's no best college. But I just want to emphasize that no matter which college you end up in, you will have a great experience because there's just amazing people in every college. So don't be disappointed with whatever you get. You'll, you'll always end up loving your college. You will end up loving your college. Next question is, do we need to take foreign language at any point? There's no need. They're not going to force you to take a foreign language. But you can. I had a friend who did, I believe, Japanese in, in their first year for their optional module. And yeah, you, you can also use that chance to learn a foreign language if you want. If not, no one's going to force you to do it. Next is, are there any opportunities for clinical placements? Yes, you can do psychology with a placement year at Durham. The department will usually communicate um, information regarding placement years in your first year and second year as well. And I believe they will advertise any placement opportunities throughout the years. So 
keep a lookout for those emails or of course you can find them on your own and then apply for the placement year. I'm not sure how it works, but yes, they, they will be available if you're interested in that. But alternatively, there are, as I said, uh, res research assistant posts within the department. I know that's very different from a clinical placement, but if you're just looking to gain some sort of experience, then that might be a good place to start. Next question is, where do you have your lectures slash seminars? Um, I've had most of them in the science site, which is uh, the area next to the main library, the Bill Bryson Library in Durham. Um, I've had them in the psychology department, in the TLC, the geography department, the chemistry department. So it really depends on what modules you do, but usually they are, as I said, within the science site, which is a 15 minute walk from the city center, the town center. Next question is a very interesting one. What sort of jobs can you go into or have you seen other psychology students apply for? Okay, so I did a module called Careers in Psychology in First Year, which exactly covers that. So I'm just going to read out the lecture outlines from that. Of course, obviously, it's not limited to that list, but that's a pretty comprehensive list of potential career prospects. The university as a whole has a career service that you can contact and talk to them about any concerns that you have. Or the department itself, the psychology department, does send pretty frequent emails about any opportunities, any internships or placements. So keeping an eye out for that will also help with figuring out what you want to do. Yeah, so the best thing about a psychology degree is it's very flexible. So even if you haven't really figured out what your niche is yet, there's a lot of room for you to find out and explore. And in the end, there's a lot of pathways that you can take. So that's the hopefully the biggest takeaway that you'll get from this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope that gave you an idea of what it's like doing psychology at Durham. If you still have any more questions about the degree or just life in Durham in general, feel free to find us or find me um, on our social media. So I'll list them up here. And I'll see, we'll see you in our next video. Bye.